This is a 1 6th horsepower fan made in 1892 by the Crocker Wheeler Motor Company of New York. Uh, that was before the factory moved to New Jersey in 1893. It's a very early example of a home appliance made at a time when very few homes had electricity. In 1892, alternating current, or AC, was just beginning to come into use. It would still be several years before it would overtake Edison's direct current, the DC system which controlled the market in the 1880s and early 90s when this was made. In those days, electricity was restricted to well-to-do urban dwellings and businesses and was used primarily for lighting. There were very few appliances in those days, so consequently, homes were not <clears throat> typically wired with plug-in outlets uh, such as we use today. To run a fan like this, a homeowner would uh, you unscrew a light bulb from a fixture and screw in a socket plug. It's astonishing how little concern there was for safety with electrical equipment in that era. A shock of 40 volts of DC can be lethal at just a few milliamps. This fan runs on 110 volts DC and nearly 2 amps, so it's uh, extremely dangerous levels. And yet the main power connections are two large bolts mounted just below the control switch. The switching mechanism itself is entirely exposed. Only the knob is made of insulated material, Bakelite. Exposed connections can be found just about everywhere on the fan. The patented uh, switch assembly allows for two speeds. In the first position, only one of the field coils is energized and the fan runs at half speed. In the second position, both coils are energized and the speed is doubled. It's running at about 1800 RPM. It's an extremely powerful fan, but the cage was actually optional. These were also sold without a cage. It's a very reliable and very powerful fan, and a really wonderful example of uh, Victorian technology.